Hello guys, it is Everything Epan here back with another video and today we're going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Whistler build 2410 in VirtualBox. This is a part of the pre-beta 2 builds of Windows Whistler. This is the first one as a matter of fact after uh, the 2296 beta 1 build. So there is going to be some slight changes in this since it is now part of the beta 2 stage but without further ado we're gonna go ahead and get straight into the video and there's gonna be four links in the description one will be for VirtualBox, one for WinRAR and then there will be the MS-DOS 6.22 ISO and then Windows Whistler build 2410 will be down there as well so we're gonna go ahead and create a new virtual machine here we're just gonna go ahead and call this Windows Whistler build 2410 and then when you go here into the version you need to scroll up and select Windows XP 32 bit as your option click next and then you can leave the RAM right where it's at it'll work just fine and click next and then we're gonna create our virtual hard drive by clicking create hit next twice and then it'll come to this screen that uh, gives you the amount that you're gonna create just do the normal 10 gigs and you should be good so click create and then what you want to do is go to settings and then storage tab here go to this empty little disk and then you're going to want to insert the MS-DOS 6.22 ISO in there um, you're going to have to locate that if you have downloaded it or if it is in one of your recent ISOs here you can select it from your list otherwise you're going to have to browse for it from wherever you saved it so go ahead and click OK when that is done and then go ahead and click start Now the reason, as usual, that we have to use the uh, MS-DOS ISO is to change the BIOS state, otherwise it will not install. So we now have it loaded up here, so go ahead and type in the date command, and it'll say the uh, current date in there, and the new date you need to type in is 12-09-2010. And that's going to be up here on the screen it'll also be in the description if you can't see it um, so that'll be down there as well and if you type in date again it should be confirmed that it is now December 9th of the year 2000 and that is what you want so now that that's done we can insert the uh, Windows Whistler 2410 ISO that's going to be once again link in the description for that and uh, you're going to want to insert that and then reset your virtual machine and then it's automatically going to boot from that ISO and it will load up the necessary files for the setup here and here we are that it says you're about to install Windows Whistler so go ahead and click enter to continue that and then it'll be on the welcome to setup screen here go ahead and hit enter again it's going to come up with the license agreement just go ahead and click F8 to agree to it and then this is the only space that is on this virtual drive so we're gonna install it on it it's full 10 gigs so click enter to select that drive and then we're gonna format the partition using the NTFS file system and we're gonna do the quick one so click enter on that one and it's now going to format your virtual hard drive and then it's going to begin the process of copying files which will not take very long whatsoever and you see that it's gonna go by very very quick and then after that is done it's going to hit the first restart point out of two I believe I think it restarts twice so here we are on the first restart point already so go ahead and click enter to restart and it will restart your virtual machine don't press any key to boot from the CD or you'll just keep going in a constant loop and the boot screen should come up here in just a little bit sometimes it takes a little bit um, if it sits at the black screen like that for a little bit that's completely normal It does that usually for me as well so it's gonna come up with the Windows Whistler boot screen here um, and this is to change in build 2419 
and then it changes again in build 2428, I believe. So here we are in the second part of the setup here. We're in Windows Whistler Beta 2, as it says in there. And it says it's going to take 31 minutes to complete, but that is not true whatsoever. It's not going to take that long. Uh, it'll take less than that for sure. As you see, it's going by a quick already in two minutes has already gone off so uh, it's gonna do it's gonna load this here installing devices and then we should hit uh, a screen to confirm some more settings to be able to fully install this so just let this load here for a little bit and you will finally pop up with the regional settings so this is where you select your country and your keyboard layout and all that good stuff so once you have that selected go ahead and click next and then you're going to need to type in a name here. I'm just going to type in everything EPAN, might as well. And then click next when you're done typing in a name. And then the product key, uh, this will be linked with the uh, this will be linked with the ISO in the description. Uh, it's going to be posted up here on the screen as well. If you can read it, if not, it will be there for you with the ISO. So after you have that entered in you go ahead and click next and it's going to go on to the computer name so i'm just going to do whistler whoops can't type whistler 2410 go ahead and click next and then you got to can make sure that this is confirmed the same date of december 9th of the year 2000 uh, select your time zone and click next and now it's going to start copying files and installing Whistler. So this is the part that's going to take the most time out of anything. Um, and you can see that it's going by super quick anyway. So it should take no longer than a couple minutes to complete. Maybe five at the most. I don't know. I've never had it take longer than five minutes. As you can see, it's just flying by all of these uh, installations here. And uh, so it's going to do that here and it will not take long whatsoever so I am going to pause it because it does take a couple minutes and I'm not going to sit here in silence for a couple minutes for you guys so I'm going to pause this real quick and I'm going to be right back when uh, we hit our restart point so we've now hit our second restart point and when it boots do not press any key to boot from the CD once again and it's going to go into the boot screen here and you see on the bottom right that it says Windows Whistler Professional Build 2410 uh, see that down below and it's going to automatically log you in and it's going to play the logon sound so it's good that there's audio drivers installed and you can see that the video actually does or the graphics actually do not look bad either uh, it's going to ask you to readjust your screen resolution here but that is okay and there you go guys there's windows whistler build 2410 and I can confirm that if I go to properties and it says 2410 here, it still says Windows 2000. They just didn't change everything just yet. Um, but there you go. That is the installation process. And if you're on the desktop here now, you have successfully installed it. So if you guys have any issues, leave a comment down below. Um, if you're having any problems during installation, I can try to help you as best as I can. Um, but if this did end up working out for you, uh, definitely be sure to leave a like down below um, to show that it worked. And if you guys have any ideas as well for future videos, uh, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be just VirtualBox tutorials. I've had some. I, I had a couple of people tell me that I should do a gaming video or something like that, and I've definitely taken that into consideration to have more of a variety on my channel since. Hence the name Everything EPAN. It shouldn't be just you know technology, even though that's what this channel is mostly known for. Um, but you know, if you guys have any sort of ideas, make sure to leave a comment down below, and I will take them into consideration. Does not mean I will use them. Uh, just means that I will have some ideas, and maybe I will use some of those ideas and have them pop up on the channel here. And if you are new to the channel or if you're watching this and you are not yet subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more VirtualBox tutorials, if that is what you came here for. And if you want to, make sure you are notified whenever I upload a new video or tutorial or whatever I upload. Hit the bell button to get notified on your mobile device or computer uh, whenever I upload a video. So that ends the video. Thank you guys for watching. 
and I will see you in the next one.